Welcome to my 14th game. This time we're doing some new things. Not only are we doing four separate indie games of one series, not to mention an indie game, game in the first place, we are playing a horror. <laughs> Wait, Majora! What? Majora! What? Don't do that, man! Well, you said this game is supposed to be scary, right? Well, yeah, but that doesn't mean you need to. <laughs> Shut up! Anyways, yes, I'm playing a horror game. I haven't really played very many horror games in general, they're just not my thing. The most notable and probably the only game, really, now that I think about it, was Dead Space, which was alright, it was fun, just got really predictable really quickly. So yes, if you haven't guessed from the title, we are taking on Five Nights at Freddy's. And just like with all the video games, I miss the hype. Yeah, I've never actually played them. I kind of kept like the lore, what, what people think is the lore, in my peripheral vision, but I never really sat down to play it or look into it or anything. Mostly because I'm a wuss. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, you've seen me play games with scary moments, but not a straight up game trying to scare you. You haven't seen me do that yet. It's not gonna end well. So for those of you out there who missed the hype more than I did, very impressive because you see I am one step above living under a rock. Five Nights at Freddy's is a point and click horror game by Scott Cawthon. I think I pronounced that right, but anyway, I have a lot of respect for this guy from the things I've heard him say and do. To put it simply, Five Nights at Freddy's is based around a Chuck E. Cheese's. You are a security guard, because, you know, places need those and you need the monies. However, the animatronics, which normally play and sing songs and stuff, are highly advanced because of reasons, and for some reason they got this glitch. They think you're a faulty animatronic, or something, I don't, I don't really know. So in order to try to fix you, they decide to kill you somehow? I forget. I, I, don't, I don't know, I mean, they're trying to get you. Chuck E. Cheese is coming for your soul, guys! You all know what's going to happen! The goal is to survive! Good luck. I think they're trying to, like, shove an exoskeleton up your bum or something. I, I don't really know. Are you catching a theme yet? I mean, it's, it's a plan. We're gonna survive, as opposed to, you know, finding the security guard shotgun, which I'm sure is a red woo! Wait, 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 wait. This might work! So that's the first game. The second game I know even less about. Except it's a different location? Time? Animatronics? I, I think you put on a mask? Is gameplay options? You're still in a chair? The third one I think has hallucinations? Theme park? Bunny? I think I need a bunny. And the fourth one has a house? With furniture and plush toys, and the animatronics are militarized. They get like the picture has big pointy teeth. I mean, all the other ones look semi cute, or at least could pass, but these ones are just like, ah, I'm glad to meet you. So it's kind of throwing me off. I think something's happening at Halloween. Or you know, when this video is past Halloween, it did happen. <laughs> So yeah, I don't really know anything, which I guess wasn't part of the point of why I wanted to do it this way, just so it's more fun, so immersive, and see if I can figure something out, maybe come up with a theory of my own, that's probably wrong. Yeah. No thing. So each episode will be based on a single night, whether I beat it my first attempt, like I don't even care, or whether it takes multiple attempts, or whether I need to just take a break and come back to it later. Who knows, maybe one episode will take multiple days. Also, on the first episode, we'll start by watching the trailer of each game, just so I have a small idea of what's going on. You know, at, at least, like, a location. <laughs> just to be like, oh, I think this is a store. Maybe. Well, anyway, we'll also have episodes devoted to, you know, like, good endings or secrets at the end or whatever. And since these games are so well made and there's so many different secrets, now that I think about it, I may not have an episode devoted to it. I mean, maybe I'll have like a blurb saying, Oh, hey, by the way, if you do this, this, and this, maybe something good will happen. I, I don't really know. Maybe. Maybe I'll have a blurb. Maybe there's like a lot you have to do for the secret ending. Oh, the one episode too. I don't know. We'll kind of say it's case sensitive at that point. Anyway, I am really excited to play, even though I'm terrified 
out of my league, a little bit late, but hey, it should be fun, right? So, let's do this. Wait! Sorry, guys. Majora! 